Now, Section 8 housing is supposed to be a safety net to keep low-income families from falling into homelessness, but it's not meeting its full potential in L.A. I went to News reporter Rob Hayes investigates why it's so difficult to get a Section 8 voucher and how that's fueling the homelessness crisis. I try to keep it clean, but... It's not unusual for someone to show off their car, but Stephanie Cleaver is also showing off her bedroom. I move all this stuff right here, and I just make a bed right here. The soon-to-be 72-year-old is homeless, and when she's unable to crash with her son or daughter, she heads for the Hyundai. I never, never in life thought this was going to happen to me. I had everything, you know, I had nice family, nice husband. Never expected it. Look at me now. When her partner died six years ago, Cleaver couldn't afford the rent. She lost her apartment and now struggles to get by off roughly $1,200 a month from Social Security and whatever she could make recycling. The hope was that Cleaver would get federal rent assistance from the Section 8 program. I'd get on Section 8, I'd get on HUD, I'd get on anything just to get my own place that I could afford. But getting a housing voucher is not easy. Cleaver filed for Section 8 seven and a half years ago. And since then, she has hardly moved up on the list. 2015, I signed up for Section 8 um, in Redondo Beach. And they said I'm number 700 right now on the waiting list. When she signed up, she had more than 1,000 people ahead of her. So she's moved up just 300 to 400 spots in seven and a half years. The average wait time across L.A. County is only about two years. Redondo Beach Housing Authority officials declined our request for an interview, but told us the city's Section 8 wait list has dropped from more than 4,000 families at the beginning of last year to just under 1,200 right now. But that's just Redondo Beach. Southern California as a whole is drastically lacking homes. We just don't have the, the public housing stock, the voucher availability, and other forms of house, subsidized housing to meet that need or anything close to it. Supercharging the housing problem is the skyrocketing cost of living here. An Eyewitness News data dive shows that typical rents in L.A. and Orange counties have jumped 30 percent over the past five years. That has led to one out of every four renters in SoCal spending more than half of their income on rent. I can't afford it. That has pushed so many people to apply for Section 8 vouchers that most Southern California cities and counties won't even take new applicants. Wait lists are shut down. The fact that we have to open the waiting list is an indicator that it's really crazy, right? That question rhetorical and way too obvious for Cleaver, who may lack money, but is still rich with optimism. I'm blessed to be walking, talking. The former property management worker praying for just one more property to manage. Every day I check my mail and I, and I keep hoping this is it, this is it. In all my heart, I know that I'm going to have a home to live in. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.